Hello everyone, today I am reviewing this mock that I made. It is the second uh, upload of this mock, but it has been updated heavily, and I'll show you what the updates are, and yeah. For the first update, I added one speeder on each side of this build. And then I also moved the spring loaded shooters forward to add those in as well. So there wasn't like this huge wasted space like there and there. And then you can take off the speeders. This is just the battle pack speeder from the Mandalorian battle pack. And you can just lift those two off, place them there. And those can shoot off. There's two there, two there, one there, and one there. Next, you can open up the two things on the side, and you can see the uh, Mandalorians inside from the Mandalorian Battle Pack. And we'll just close that back up. And it has some nice detailing on the bottom, or not the bottom, but like this front right there. And that has two solar panels, one on each side, which both have a sticker on both sides. Oh, I'm sorry. Sticker on this side too. We can put those down, and then we can open up the main area, which can go like that and like this. And this side can fit two minifigures. Inside is a storage from before. We can close that up. We can push that out, that out, and then it makes like this kind of shape, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we'll move on to the back. And on the back, this is the pr probably the most recognizable change, is adding this huge back section for another speeder back here, which we'll get to in a minute. It has a lot of nice greebling on it, nice detail and pieces from other sets. And then let me flip this around. And then I can pick this up pretty well. I'm just picking up from here and like, it's fine. So I can just turn it like this. And you can see some of the side detail and it's the same on the other side. I'll just show you that right now. Here's the other side. It's just the same, like I said. And then on the back, you can see just like another way it's facing. And then I forgot to mention there's two crates here, so you can just lift them off. One right there, one right there. There's nothing inside of them. So there's there. Just as like a little bit of detail, which is pretty cool. And if we come back down here, I'll open this up. I'll, I'll have to just press that down. And I can just pull this out, and it's not connected by anything. And this is what the empty space looks like. And then it doesn't go in to that. Oh, sorry, it's trying to light through. Yeah, it doesn't go in to here, but previously it did. Well, not go like in, but like there was holes in it, so the stuff would fall out when you turn it sideways or like, like up like that. But yeah, and you can see some of the inside detail. And then, yeah, and I can put it back in like that and just like sits in place and then I can just rest that up. And then there's two uh, little things right here, which I can shoot off, one on that side, one on that side. And yeah, that's this side. And then we have the other side. It has a little bit of greebling here, just like normal details. And then just like one thing going all the way through. It's pretty supported. There's like a couple pieces that'll easily pop off, but they're also easy to put back on. And then, yeah, and then we'll move up a little bit. And we see there's two missiles here, one there, one there, sorry about my arm. And then there they are, you can just move them up and down and then they detach by either pushing it forward or backwards. And then you can see there's one of the missiles right there. And like on the previous model, I have the two uh, landing gears and all I have to do is lift that up and then you can see the old model. So it's just the same thing but with a little topper piece on top. So when I close it, it would go like this, shut. Same for the other side, go like that, and shut. And when I pick this up, it like sits in place, which is pretty cool. Now I'll show you the speeders. There are three speeders you see in the set. And then this one is the one from the Mandalorian battle pack. And all I did was add a clip and then one of the Mandalorian's guns right there. And then it has the two stud shooters right there and shoot them off like that. And it's the same for the other one, but this one I just made with parts I had extra and also did the same thing, but on the opposite side. So it would match the ship a little bit better. And then I made this. 
which is the third one I made. And before, I had it just st sitting on the back side of it with, like, a clip on the back. And I thought that was, like, didn't look good. So I wanted to make something on the back of it. And then, so I put this on. And then, anyways, so there's a little bit of design grooving throughout it. You have the exhaust. And then the engine. Center. And then the seat. So that's pretty cool. All right, first we have this guy. He has a nice blaster on his back, which connects with a couple pieces. And then he has like a nice normal blaster. And then he also has a nice like antenna piece, which is like a scope. So that's pretty cool. And he, he rides the normal Mandalorian battle pack that comes with the Mandalorian battle pack set. Then we have this guy, which is the blue Mandalorian. He has two revolvers and a nice, like, heads. I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're called. Like, a visor piece, maybe? I don't know. And then he gets the um, longer speeder. And then this Mandalorian is, like, the first one, but has normal uh, Lego gun pieces without, like, any mo modifications to them. And then he, well, she, or whoever it is, has the uh, two has the ship and then they have two other blasters and then any other blasters that i don't want to put on would just go in the ship so that's pretty cool thank you for watching this video i'll talk to you guys later see ya